Welcome YouTube is a subscriber it is the real silver surfer here bringing you a gameplay with the USR with chrome line and variable zoom but I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay here basically I'm going to be breaking down the top five assault rifles slash SMGs in this in Call of Duty 4 all the way to Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I'm not going to be breaking it down as in my opinion I'm going to be breaking it down as in I think the, the best all time Assault rifles and submachine guns overpowered or not. Um, I'm gonna start off with the assault rifles and I'm gonna start from five to one. So, um, basically, I think the fifth best assault rifle in all time Call of Duty is the M4 carbine from Call of Duty 4 due to the fact that it was a, um, it was a strong, um, assault rifle and it was like a pea shooter it shoots straight it, it hardly had any recoil you throw red dot on it and it was like basically you could take out um, enemies real easy and it was a very good competitive assault rifle that was used in Call of Duty 4 and in my opinion probably one of the best assault rifles in Call of Duty 4 now I'm gonna move on to the four best assault rifle and Call of Duty is the FAMAS from Black Ops 1, the fully automatic one. It was, it had a really fast rate of fire, it took out your enemies real fast, and it was actually a strong and overpowered weapon when the game first came out. A lot of people complained about um, the FAMAS, how if you used it, you was basically a try hard, but basically people was just using it because it was in Modern Warfare 2 at the three round burst, but now in Black Ops they allowed it to be an automatic so that was a real big hype but then um now I'm gonna move on to the number three best Enemy assault rifle in Call of Duty all time I believe is the FAL from Black Ops 1 because um in Black Ops 1 I think it was a two shot kill and it was a very a strong assault rifle um it was probably one of the fast and the strongest assault rifles. All the single round fired assault rifles was probably the strongest assault rifles by far. Then I'm gonna bring it to the number two best assault rifle ever is the AK-47 from Modern Warfare 2. Oh my god, that assault rifle was a beast. That was when they first ever bring in idle sway. But anyway, it was real fast. It was real strong. It took out the enemies really quick. It, if you put FMJ and I believe it was yeah, if you put FMJ on it because it's either you had to put two attachments on it to make it overpower it was FMJ and I believe silencer and it even took out your enemies quick but just regular FMJ on the gun was actually beast and it was overpowered it took out your enemies so quick and that was probably one of my um first nukes in my warfare 2 was using the AK-47 with the FMJ attachment then I'm gonna bring it down to the number one best assault rifle in all Call of Duty by far. No questions, no hands down, no everybody in Call of Duty history knows about this gun as the ACR, as known as the P shooter. Uh, it was one of the strongest assault rifles and it actually had absolutely no recoil. If you have to argue about this one, then I don't know if you was a big fan or I don't know what is your problem but by far out of all my friends and everybody that ever played Call of Duty they always bring up the ACR as one of the best assault rifles in this game by far now I'm gonna basically move on to the submachine guns as if you have any opinions or if you believe one of those guns do not belong on the top five list just comment below let me know write me on Facebook just Tell me your opinions and what do you believe and we can have an, a discussion about this but uh, anyway to me those are my top five assault rifle overpowered guns in Call of Duty history. Um, now I'm going to bring it down to the assault rifle from number five to number one. Um, basically I'm um, going to say the PDW 57 in Black Ops 2 was the fifth best submachine gun it had. It, was no, it had absolutely no recoil. Then it had a 50 round clip, so it was basically like a P90, but it just had no recoil, and it was really, it was one of the best weapons in that game, um, Black Ops 2, so that is like a hands down, oh, 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 rubbing my ghillie suit in your face, my brother, just getting it on, party in the house, party all up in the watch <laughs> watch house or whatever the lighthouse <laughs> but anyway I'm back on to the 
top five submachine gun. Now number four is the MP7 for Modern Warfare 3. Um, everybody in Modern Warfare 3 basically used the MP7 as a submachine gun. Um, it was one of the probably the best submachine guns in that game. Um, I don't really remember a lot of people using any other submachine guns. Well, they were decent, but not as great as the MP7. It was absolutely no recoil, and a lot of people's MOABs came from the MP7. I got to say chem strikes, but you know how they're all in life, but basically. Um, now I'm going to move on to the third best SMG, and to me it is the M UMP-47, I mean 45, the UMP-45 from Modern Warfare 2. It was probably one of the best SMGs in Modern Warfare 2. It was very powerful SMG, people compared it to the assault rifles, and then on top of that it was... Uh, it had not a lot of recoil. You threw stopping power on that gun, and it took out your enemies really quick. A lot of the times, I didn't even throw stopping power on that gun because how strong that weapon was. But anyway, that was probably one of the top, in the top five, the third best SMGs by far. Then I'm gonna move on to the second best SMG by far. Ooh, kill him! But um, <laughs> you see them snipes across the map. But um, oop, Charlie ride. What? Right, he's ready on here. He, I think he's just like the person that actually trolls the trolley. But anyway, um, the second best submachine gun is the AK-47U from Call of Duty 4. It was probably one of the best SMGs. The um, iron sight was really little on the gun, so it was easier for you to pick off your opponents. And it was actually the strongest weapon. A lot of people complained about it. And to me, in my eyes, that was probably one of the best... SMG by far every time that I hear about the AK-47U or I see a game like Ghost or any new coming Call of Duties I always ask I hope they're gonna bring that AK-47U oh I could've put a ladder on or what the heck but um I always talk about the AK-47U that was probably one of my favorite SMGs it was nice in Black Ops 1 also as well but I think the best one was in Call of Duty 4 and then I'm gonna bring it to the top one Best and the, my favorite SMG is the P90 with the 40 clip, no 50 clip, I believe. Yeah, 50 clip, and that gun was probably one of the powerfulest guns. That was the first guns I ever used in any Call of Duty. I played the P90 with the red dot. I didn't get not absolutely one kill, but I used it and I got one kill like two games later, and that's what made me into all this Call of Duty stuff. So that P90, P90 is probably the that's SMG in my eyes in the Call of Duty franchise. But if you like this video, comment, subscribe below. Um, like, give me a like, press that like button, and just follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and I'm. Um